You gonna give me the dog leg? Oh, oh there's the dog leg a little bit. Where's the dog? There it is. <laughs> Kick that leg, doctor. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Wednesday. Today was good. I started off with my boxing class. Well, started off working and then went to take boxing class, did some cardio before, and it was really good. Um, still have my bandaged finger. Hasn't closed up just yet. It's kind of annoying, but I was able to punch because um, I have a wrap on and then the, the glove, and you're already cushioned and you're not really hitting this part. So I was able to pow pow cross and hook and all that good stuff so I had a really nice workout there we go oh yay doctor's going for a visit get it the doctor is in the house you're the doctor you're in the house I always wonder what he's thinking he looks like he wants like he's connecting what cat likes to have their belly rubbed I don't know too many of them I love you when you're good and when you're bad, I still love you, but I like when you're good and not bad. He's the mischievous cat, not the other one. He'll jump on the table while we're eating dinner, and he's not supposed to. We ban the cats from the kitchen. He'll always come in while we're cooking and meow, 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 just look up and meow at us. You are bad. But then when he's good like this, he's so cute. I just want to hug him. Hug him so much. I hate reading the news. There's so many messed up stories going on right now. Well, there's always messed up stories going on. There was a little boy in, from Brooklyn, eight-year-old. He was walking home from camp and he was abducted and um, suffocated, drugged. And then the guy topped him up. Just extremely horrible and some kid in Florida took three pills of ecstasy and the devil told him to kill his parents with a hammer and then he threw a party and he posted it on Facebook for Facebook invites and uh, someone threw their infant out a car window Oh, you don't like when I talk about those stories. I know. There were a couple, of, there was another story with a, someone threw a, a kid out of a window or over a bridge or something. Some family was keeping their infant in a cage and she was eating her skin because she had no food. What is wrong with people? I go through these like spurts where I won't read the news or watch the news because I don't want to hear these stories and then I read them and I end up reading them, you know, in the morning and I get so depressed and upset over it. That's why I don't want to have kids, because I don't want them to grow up crazy and then try to kill me. Seems like a lot of kids kill their parents. That's crazy. And then some guy in, in Switzerland, he flew a plane into his mother's house and he tried to kill her, but he ends up committing suicide because he killed himself. What? Flying a plane into your mom's house. What? Have you guys heard any crazy stories lately or any stories that really touched you? Um, the Brooklyn story actually t touched me, the little eight-year-old boy. Uh, extremely sad, um, Hasidic Jew family. And the guy who abducted him also was a Hasidic Jew. Just, just, just it was just horrible. Well, on a lighter note, I want to let you guys know that I put up the full video of the Wax Museum on Dana Ford, so click down below to see the video. <coughs> Whoa, finally, it took 20 minutes for that to come out. Hmm. Come out. That just sounds wrong. Did you guys see that Kasim G had posted on his video that I was his favorite YouTuber, X Go Be Next, well my main channel, and he put up the video of um, me showing you how to put on a condom. <laughs> I met Kasim, he's really cool. Uh, I was just shocked to be in this video and for him to say that and I gained a whole bunch of subscribers and I haven't posted a video yet on X Go Be Next and I've been trying to think of a new skit and it's just, it's just been hard. But I was uh, a little disappointed that Kasim did not link me and he said my screen name wrong. But 
those crazy Casim G followers found me. <laughs> they all were like, Casim G sent me, Casim G sent me. Well, that condom video. So appreciative. So thank you, Casim. Maybe I should, maybe that's what my video should be. I should be a uh, Casim uh, tribute, some sort of tribute to him. Anyone know him? Like, what could be funny? What I could do? Don't tell him. <laughs> We're gonna tell him, but just don't tell him. But maybe I'll. That's maybe my next skit will be, or my next video that maybe I'll film tomorrow a Casim G tribute. Got the thinking caps go on. I've talked long enough. I hope everyone has a fabulous rest of your Wednesday, and uh, I look forward to seeing you speaking, you guys. Tomorrow.